Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. Again, we are given this shaded area and it is said that locate the centroid of this shaded area. Right, and this curve, the function of this curve is given, right? This is x as a function of y. So now let's say that somewhere here is the centroid of this shaded area. So we are required to find uh, this co the coordinates of this centroid, right? So we are required to find this distance. So this distance is x bar and we are required to determine this distance. This distance is y bar, right? So we have to find this y bar and x bar coordinates of the centroid of this shaded area. So to find this, what we normally do is that we apply the principle of moment equations, right? So again, I will write for x bar, I can write that x bar into area this will be equal to integration and x c d a right so to again to apply this equation we need to define some differential area so now let's say that here somewhere here is the my differential area located right so let's say that this is our differential area and it's centroid is somewhere located here right so this is the centroid of this differential area so now as we can see that uh, this whole length of this differential element will be equal to x this whole length let me represent this length so this is x and the width of this differential area will be dy right so from this we can write that uh, uh, dA will be equal to this length into the width, right? So, this is x into dy. So, now first we need to find the area, the total area, right, for this shaded portion. So, to find this total area, what we need to do, we need to integrate this, right? We will add up the areas of all the differential elements from when we move along the y axis is from 0 to b. Right, the maximum value of the y coordinate is b. Right, so we have to differentiate it from uh, integrate it from 0 to p. So this will give us the total area. So total area is equal to, and since as we can see that the uh, integration is with respect to y, so x is given as a function of y. So we have to write that function. Right, so this will be a into 1 minus y square divided by b square into dy. And we need to integrate this right so we can write this a outside of the integration so this is from 0 to b right so this area will be equal to a and when we integrate this so this will be y minus y to the power 3 divided by 3b square and this is from 0 to p this is a and when we put these limits so this will be b minus b to the power 3 divided by 3b square right so this will be cancelled out b square will be cancelled out with b square and we will be left with only 1b right so this will be we will be left with b divided by 3 so now from this uh, if we take b outside uh, as a common right so this will be a b and we will be left with 1 minus 1 divided by 3 so this gives us the total area is 2 divided by 3 a b so this is 2 divided by 3 a b so this is the area of this shaded portion that we have right so the area is 2 divided by 3 a b so now we can apply this equation so i will write that x bar into area equals to now x c is the distance of the centroid of the differential element from the y axis is right so this is x c let me represent that x c this distance is x c right so again this distance uh, this distance will be x right so we can write that this is sorry this will be the half of this length right so this will be x divided by 2 so xc is x divided by 2 so now let me write here that this xc is x divided by 2 and da is x dy so i will write that this is x dy we can write this 1 divided by 2 outside of the integration and this will become square right so we have x square dy and again the integration is with respect to y so we have to write that it is from 0 to b so this is 1 divided by 2 
and this is x right so first we have to find x square right so x is equal to a into 1 plus minus y square divided by b square and when we take square this is a square when we take square so this will be square and this will become square so now we have to apply a minus b square formula right so this will be 1 square minus 2 a into b so this is y right so y square divided by b square and then this will be uh, plus this square right so b square so this will be y to the power 4 b to the power 4 so we are left with this x square so we can simplify this this will be a square 1 minus 2 y square divided by b square plus y to the power 4 b to the power 4 we can write x square here right so we can take this a square outside of the integration so we, we can write that this will be a square 1 minus 2 y square divided by b square plus y to the power 4 b to the power 4 into dy so now when we integrate this so this will be a square divided by 2 from 0 to b and uh, when we integrate this so this will be y minus 2 y cube divided by 3 b square plus y to the power 5 divided by 5 b to the power 4 and this is from 0 to b right so when we put these limits so this will be a square divided by 2 b minus 2 b to the power 3 divided by 3 b square plus b to the power 5 divided by 5 b to the power 4 so this will cancel out and this b to the power 4 will cancel out so we will be left with this thing right and we can take b as common uh, from this bracket right so we will be left with we can write that this will be a square into b right so this will be 1 minus 2 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 5 so this is 8 divided by 15 right so i will write that a square b divided by 2 into 8 divided by 15 right and as we know that this is equal to x bar into area and we know that area is 2 divided by 3 a b so i will write here as this is 2 divided by 3 a b so this will be cancelled out we will be left with 4 divided by 15 a square b 1 a will cancel out b will also cancel out so we will be left with x bar 2 divided by 3 4 divided by 15 a right so and if we cross multiply this so this will be 3 divided by 2 into 4 divided by 15 a so we will be left with 2 divided by 5 a so this is the x bar coordinate of the centroid of this given shaded area now to find the y bar coordinate again we have to apply the principle of moments equation right so we will write y bar into area and this this time this will be y c d a right so now y c is the distance of the centroid of the differential element from the x axis right so this is y c this distance is y c right so this distance is y right this will be equal to y the position of the differential element the differential element is located at a distance of y right so the centroid will also be located at a distance of y since this width is very small right so we can write that this is y bar into area y c is y and, and d a is x d y right so we can write that this is x d y so i can write that this is y x is given as a function of y so we will write that this is a into 1 minus y square divided by b square into dy we can write this a outside of the integration 
and again integration is with respect to y and the y limits are from 0 to b this is a from if we multiply this y inside so we will have y here we will have y and here we will have y cube so now we are left with this right so this is from 0 to b and when we integrate this so we will be left with y square divided by 2 minus y to the power 4 divided by 4 b square and this is from 0 to b right so this will be a b square divided by 2 minus uh, b4 to the power divided by 4 b square and this will cancel out so we will be left with b square right so here this is also b square and we can take b square as common right so this will be a b square so this will be 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 4 so this gives us 1 divided by 4 a b square so here this is y bar and this is area is again known which is 2 divided by 3 a b so i will write 2 divided by 3 a b so a will cancel out and 1 b will cancel out and when we cross multiply this so this will be 3 divided by 2 into 1 divided by 4 b so this will be 3 divided by 8 b so this is the y bar coordinate of the centroid of uh, this shaded area so i hope you people would have understood this solution kindly like this particular video if you people want me to solve such more problems also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.